Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is on this Gigi Hadid inspired hair and makeup. I posted a photo on my Instagram a couple days ago of a look that she wore to um, a red carpet event and I fell in love with the picture. I know you guys did too and all of you guys were in favor to see an inspired hair and makeup tutorial so I thought I would film it for you guys. The complexion is so dewy and nice. I am trying a new foundation in this video so you guys will see it in action. Um, my hair is just kind of like messy, grungy. I woke up like this hair. Of course, I probably didn't use any of the products that she did, but it is just my take on it. This lip color is like five different colors combined, so wait till the end of the video if you wanna know what I'm wearing on my lips. If you guys wanted to know where this dress is from, it is from Windsor Store. A couple of you guys were asking in my March Favorites video where I got these bracelets. It's a brand from Canada. These two girls are identical twins and it's called Born Replica. They have really cute kind of gypsy, boho inspired jewelry, so I will link their site below. They're both so beautiful and have such good hearts, so make sure to show them some love. It's just a great kind of accessory to add to an outfit to kind of amp it up just a little bit. So if you guys want to see how I got this Gigi Hadid inspired hair and makeup, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I started off my base with my Benefit Professional Matte Rescue Gel Primer, which you guys know I love, and I just put it mostly in areas that I get oily throughout the day because this look is going to be a little bit more on the dewy end, so I kind of want to restrict the oiliness in my T-zone. So when I was in Dublin yesterday, I went into Brown Thomas and I went to the NARS counter and they gave me a sample of their new Velvet Matte Skin Tint and this is in the color St. Moritz. It's that time of the month and I have some friends popping through. Uh, it doesn't really bother me, so I just like a more, ooh, I'm just dropping everything today. I like more of like a natural finish to the skin, so we're gonna give this one a go. I am wearing my Bella Mienta tan. I love this tan because it's so quick. It like dries in 60 seconds, so it's a quick one to put on if I'm gonna film. The only downside with this tan is that I don't find it lasts that long. Um, it is beautiful and it's good, quick, easy tan for like a two push and three day kind of wear, but I love the coverage. It doesn't really give me like bad hand um, tan, which I'm all about, so I really like it. It's just, if you want a long term kind of wearing tan, then I would wear the Loving Tan um, in the two hour Dark Express. But this one's nice for like an every two day kind of wear. I'm just gonna put it on my finger and pop it onto my face. And I guess I'll just use my MAC Oval 6 brush to blend it out. I'm just gonna take my MAC Oval 6 brush and blend that out. I wouldn't be able to get away with this if I wasn't wearing tan, but it is nice for tan. I have a little spot here that's like really stubborn and it's just gonna like poke through cause like it's red at the top, but I don't really mind cause Gigi Hadid has like a little birthmark by her lips. So I think my skin just like knew I was filming this look. So it was trying to help me out. <laughs> So now I'm going to take my MAC NW20 Concealer Pro Longwear and the tiniest amount. I'm just going to use my ring finger and apply this in the inner corner of my eyes, a little bit on the bridge of my nose, forehead, and above the lip and chin. So basically the T-zone area just to brighten and lift because she looked very um, soft focus looking. It wasn't like an extreme highlight and contour look. It was just very nicely melted together, but she definitely had some brightness in the center of her face. Now I'm gonna take my Benefit Do The Hula bronzer and just squirt one pump on the back of my hand. Mm, I'm gonna go for two pumps. She was really glowy and bronzy in this look. And I'm gonna apply it with the Benefit Bronzing and Contouring Brush, which is a fluffier brush. I'm lightly just stippling it into the brush and then lightly stippling it on to my face because Gigi didn't really have um, an intense contour. It was more of a dewy, bronzy glow to the skin. It wasn't anything too harsh. So this, I think, is the perfect way to achieve that look. Really focusing more on the apples of my cheek and blending upwards on the forehead because she had a very bronzy forehead and a little bit on my nose. I love the finish that gives. So now I'm going to take my Benefit Dandelion Shy Beam, which is that soft glow radiance. It's matte, but it has um, a soft glow effect. So I'm just gonna use this as a base for our highlighter because I'm gonna use the Becca Champagne Pop highlighter, but I wanna use this as a base so it's um, a little bit more amplified. I'm gonna go 
a little line motion starting kind of in the inner corner of my eye all the way around to the end of my brow. I'm going to take this Real Techniques contouring brush and just pat that into the skin lightly. It's very subtle but I like that. Like her skin just looked very blended with a whole bunch of different illuminating products but it wasn't overwhelming. It was just very soft and not like contour highlight highlighter. It just kind of all blended and melted together. Now to set all that bronziness that we put on, I'm taking the powder version of Hoola Bronzer and that same bronzing and contouring brush and just dabbing it on the places we used the Do The Hoola so that it just sets it and amplifies the bronze effect. Taking the brush that Hoola comes with, I'm going to put a little bit underneath my bottom lip because she naturally has really pouty looking lips. This is just going to help kind of give that effect without overlining too much or um, if you find that you have a little bit of a thinner looking lip this little trick putting it right under your bottom lip will just make it look a little bit more pouty so I'm also just gonna bring it down a little bit of the sides of my nose I'm not gonna over contour I'm just gonna be very gentle with this the lighting today is all over the place I'm so sorry guys like it's super cloudy but it's absolutely beautiful out so I really wanted to film because natural lighting is my favorite I'm still using my ring light for when it gets cloudy but if the lighting is going on and off I'm really sorry because I know I'm sure it's kind of annoying so for highlight I'm taking the Jaclyn Hill Becca champagne pop and my Sigma f35 tapered highlighting brush and lightly putting it on my brush. I don't want a lot. I'm really tapping off any excess and placing that where we put the dandelion shy beam just to amplify a little bit more. We're really going to buff it in because I don't want it to be too stark. So just how we put the bronzer underneath our bottom lip, we're going to use the highlighter to put it on the top part of our upper lip to make the upper lip look a little bit fuller. So you wanna contour and darken under your bottom lip and highlight and lift on the top lip. Okay, going back to that same benefit um, contouring and bronzing brush, I'm taking the Max Factor Cream Puff Blush in 10 Nude Mauve. And I think this is the perfect color because at first I thought she was wearing like a brown lip, but it is more of like a mauve -y, taupey, pinky brown lip, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I really don't know how to describe her lip color, but I would put on a brown lip and put the picture beside my lips and it was definitely not brown. So it was more of like a gray mauve beige, like I'm literally explaining it just how I did, but it is more mauve than brown. So um, I'm just gonna mix a couple of colors together to get the desired look because I have no idea what she used and I probably don't have it. I can already see right here that the foundation is wearing off and that was like 10 minutes ago. I don't know if it's from the excessive amount of blending with that brush but that's a little bit annoying so I'm going to take a little bit more of that foundation and pop it on the stubborn little guy. Okay, I know that took forever for the skin, but I think Gigi Hadid's look was really focused on skin and lips. The eyes are really simple, it looked like one or two colors, so I'm gonna use the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette, and I'm gonna take this shade um, Sweetheart, which is in the bottom right here, which is a nice dusty rose kind of color, and I'm just gonna start that right at our lid and blend it into the crease. Bring it underneath my lower lash line because she had it all in unison on the upper and bottom lash line. Now I'm going to take the shade Rebel which is right beside Sweetheart. It's a darker topier brown. I'm going to keep that color um, right at the lash line and blend upwards. And again bring it on my lower lash line. I'm going to take the shade Funny Girl which is that nice pearly champagne color and just taking out my pinky and pressing it into my tear duct for a little bit of a highlight because she definitely had a bit of a glow going on in there. So I'm just going to press that color right in there and it just gives that subtle, nice highlight. 
Okay, now taking my Tom Ford mascara, I'm just gonna do a very light coat because I'm going to be putting individual lashes on. For her lashes, it looked like she had a very natural looking lash, um, if she even wore lashes, I don't even know. Maybe she just has really good eyelashes, but I'm gonna be using these PS lashes that are the individual ones, but there's like three individuals stuck together. They're really easy to apply and I'm just gonna kinda sporadically place them around my lash line. I think that just adds to the look so much, so I'm gonna wait till those dry and then I'll pinch them right to my lashes so that they look really seamless. And I'm just gonna quickly add some bottom mascara and then we'll go to brows. Gigi is obviously known for her beautiful, brushed up, full arch brow, but I don't have those, so we're gonna have to kind of fake it today. So I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Chocolate Brow Wiz, and I'm not gonna really fill them in really crazy at all because it looked like she had more of a natural looking brow anyways. So I'm just gonna go through and brush my hairs upwards. And then I'm just gonna kind of go through and lightly fill them in where they look a little bit sparse. I'm gonna quickly go in with my Maybelline Brow Drama in Clear and just set them in place so that they stay lifted and in place all day. Okay, so now for lip, I honestly have like four things here because I don't know how I'm gonna get this color, but I'm gonna start off with MAC Oak Liner to outline my lips. I have ColourPop's Clueless, Trap, and Taurus. And I think if I mix these together, I might get the color. I'm gonna start off with Clueless all over the lip and then I'm gonna pop on some Trap as quickly as possible before it dries. And then I'm gonna see if I need Taurus. I'm gonna tap in just a little bit of Taurus so it brings in that kind of brown color. I'm just gonna use my finger for this. I'm gonna lightly just pop on some of my Hello Flawless by Benefit and this is in the color Honey, just on areas where I'm starting to notice I'm getting oily, so already around my T-zone, so I don't know if this velvet matte skin tint is for me. Even when I was up close doing the lashes, I noticed that it kind of sunk into my pores, which are around here, so not a fan so far. I find that Mousse Formula foundations just sink into pores and kind of separate on my skin because it is oily, it just separates, so I do like the color and it blended out lovely, but I think for my skin type, it just isn't really for me, but Go ahead and try it if you don't have oily skin. I think it would lie a lot nicer on a different skin type. So I did put my hair in a French braid with my Luxie Hair Extensions. Don't worry, I am going to be filming an in-depth French braid, normal braid, fishtail um, for you guys. You guys all wanted that. So I'm just gonna take it out of this. Okay, so I'm taking this John Frieda curling iron. I don't know what width it is, but it's about an inch and a quarter maybe. I'm just gonna take random pieces and wrap it around the curling iron because it just looks a little flat on top. It really is just the top section of my hair that needed a little bit of movement because the braid got the bottom part of my hair, but I noticed that the top section was looking a little bit flat and needed a little bit more of a curl in it, so this will just help me achieve that kind of look that Gigi was wearing. So that's it for my Gigi Hadid inspired makeup and hair look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.